Hey Clashers, the second day of the Clan War League is here and we want to do our attacks again which means I will share my planning and my attacking with you and the first day, I think we should just skip that, okay? Let's just cut back. We won't really talk about the first day. I don't know what was going on. It kind of looked like we were using non-Town of 14s but guys, really, we were using Town of 14, regular Town of 14 bases. I have no clue what is going on to be honest. But we got completely smashed. I mean, th that's that's how it is. We got really completely smashed. And now it's all about recovery. So let's do the first plan. And since yesterday, or since the day number one, it did not go great with our cloned super minion and our super dragons. I want to try it again because I really think it's a really, really strong strategy. If I could somehow use those super dragons well. But I will try. I will try. I will try to learn and prove somehow okay so first let me explain the plan the plan is again to blimp next to the town hall get a lot of value with the super minions and then not do the same mistake as the last time going from the top side no instead we're going up from the other side with those super dragons and then yeah kind of kind of obvious with the heroes on the flanks Though we're going to use the Royal Champ on the back end because the Royal Champ can actually take down two more air defenses, which should be crucial on this one. So a lot of value, pathing is set, and then the Super Dragons are going to push through to the end and gaining us the first three star. That's the plan. Let's get started. We are ready. We are in, and we are doing our first attack. The first thing which we are going to do again is something which I have learned trying this strategy in front of your challenges, and that's actually using one corner archer the reason for this is if there's a witch in there if there is anything in there in the clan castle which we do not want to lure out then um yeah the archer is going to right away lure to the flank lure away make sure that we do not have to deal with that so blimp has connected we're getting everything done clones are in invisibility spurts are in we have a huge party over there next to the town hall and those minions are going to wreck everything. The Singer Phone Tower is going down. The Scatter is going down. The Expo, Town Hall, ev everything gone. Now, it's all about for us to start with those Super Dragons. Starting slowly, setting up the funnel, setting up the pathing. And then the wall break already for later stages to push our King, push our Queen into the base. That's so far what everything looks like. Now, the archer at the bottom says they're working. We're adding slowly a couple of more dragons and then putting everything in there <clears throat> and hoping that they're going the right way. So far, they're splitting kind of heavily, which is not the greatest. I was not hoping for the split, so not the best placement, I guess, on my end. But I'm really new to those super... I, I don't know how to use those super dragons just as like a overall push. I don't know, like queen shot super dragons. Okay, they're a little bit different. You're creating pathing already. But either way, we're in now. We need to use the water ability soon. Royal Champion in from the top side. But guys, those loons at the bottom side, which I want to protect with the warden, the warden is not following. So all of the all of those loons are dying. The last second, the clan castle is coming out and it's completely messing things up because the hound is now on top of that queen. The queen cannot do anything. And that's actually not what we would like to see. Warden ability now, again, I know way too late, but I wasn't able to use it earlier because of those super dragons being outside of the range at this bottom side. But maybe we can still make this work. The back end is getting slow, like closer and closer and it's less and less at, at, like at the back end. But the Hound, the Hound was such a big problem. Without the Hound, it would have been already a three star. But with that Hound, things are looking really close because the Royal Team is going down. The last remaining dragon has to clutch this with the Warden together. I mean, there's a Wizard Tower. But this is going to be so close. 40 seconds at this point. Warden is down. Super Dragon has to carry this alone. The Archer at the top side is doing her thing over there. But I don't think this is going to be enough time. So this is not going to happen. I think at this point I would just quit the Super Minion clone, blimp, thingy, whatever. For the Clan War League season for this time. Because it has not worked out great so far for us so yeah it's going to be a two star and we're going to go for the next one the next attack is actually happening on their number one the plan this time is a little bit more fancy because uh, i'm just getting annoyed by using non-stop those super dragons and not getting su the success so for me i mean super dragons are strong but at least not for me okay there's it's not working 
But that's a queen charge again, which I am really good at, I would say. And that's the part that I would like to have. I know for a lot of you out there, the pro like you can see what the queen charge should look like. But the goal now, the the I don't know the achievement, what you're looking for is how do you get that? So first off, we need to funnel the bottom side, which is going to be a yeti. Yeti funnel at the bottom side, then two loon funnel on the other side to get the queen into the right direction. Making sure the queen is starting on the far left side, walking down then with this funnel of the loons, using again a yeti funneling on this right side, and then we can push everything into the base with our king, warden, roy gem, and a golem. And that's what I mean by saying everything. Now the question might be, what is about the town hall it's do? Well, I have a good answer because that's going to be the new siege machine. The new siege machine is going to take down the town hall, hopefully, with an earthquake together. The queen charge is into the core. King, Royal Shaman are going to finish off the things at the top side because we should have enough power to push through and get everything sorted. Army is ready. I think we're ready. It's looking wide. We have a golem, a ton of yetis and everything in there. But that's what I'm living for. Those crazy queen charges, which you do not tend to see normally. So let's see how that's going to work and if we can improve this stupid super dragon attack. Now, starting things off with the queen shards and with the queen itself. Two loons, as, as we have already said, for the funnel. We can already place a wizard now in just a second onto the elixir collector because... We need to make sure that the queen is going the right way and she's not like backtracking or anything because she needs to go for this um, bottom side. Not for the air defense. No, she needs to go for the bottom side. Then, a little bit of the clan cast is already lured out. And at this point, already uh, 30 seconds are gone. You know, for the new siege machine, you need to drop it early. That's a big thing. And for us right now, that's a big problem. Because what this means is we need to get the siege machine down at the same time. We cannot deploy it just yet because, well, uh, we have to deploy it at this point. But it's not the optimal timing because we need to activate the town hall soon. And this would cause, well, the queen taking a lot of damage because the town hall would shoot back. So, that's a bit problematic. Either way, earthquake now because we have to. Only the Unicorn is now in range, so the, I think the timing was pretty good. The, the Siege, though, is walking a bit strange, but it should be fine. Yeti, as we have said, at the bottom side for funneling. Queen is going further into the base, and now the Yeti on the right side. The Queen, a lot of damage, but there's the auto ability. Thank goodness she did not die through that. And with that, the Town Hall is ticking down as well, because, well, we have a lot of... Um, damage with that new siege with the flame flinger on the town hall at the bottom side king golem everything in the queen is pushing forward and waiting i'm waiting for the clan castle to go down to make this next connection war break we have two more war breaks it should connect and there we go the extra storage is getting targeted the only problem now at this point is the single front tower at the top side the single front tower is super annoying because my queen cannot reach it and at the same time the siege is going to take a few more years to actually get there. So, keep freezing this, uh, the single front tower. We have no more freezes left at this point. So I have to open the siege really soon to make sure that the, the single front tower is getting tanked. Because the queen is trying to run away. And now we're having the dragon rider actually getting caught in the nail trap with those loons together. So things are not looking that good on the single front tower front. But on the other side, it's looking really, really good. The Queen is staying alive. The Royal Champion still with her ability. But the time. The time is ticking, guys. The time is ticking. We have a couple of cleanup troops still to deploy. Archer on the left. Minion, Loon, everything in there to make sure every single building is going down as quickly as possible. And with 20 seconds left, we did it. The Queen charge is, is more my thing than, yeah, compared to those Super Dragons. So, yeah, I don't know if that's what I... If that's what I should... I don't know. I, I don't know if that's what I should do. But either way, we have one more attack. Three attacks every single day. So let's get in there. I have, again, a really fancy plan. And because I have one on one of my accounts, I have the Rocket Dune selected anyways, right? And you know, the Super Troop system kind of sucks. I mean, that's, that's what we all know. But this means we have to attack... At least one more few times with the Queen Shot Rocket Loons. And now I want to have from you guys, would you like for me for the entire Clan Warrior season have every single day one Queen Shot Rocket Loon run Queen Shot Rocket Loon attack or not? Let me know. Either way, I'm already starting drawing the plan. Queen Shot into from the bottom side to the town hall, right side funnel with a Rocket Loon, blimp into the scattered Royal Champion compartment, 
And then the top side with the king, with my own royal champion and the warden. This means only the left side is left for my, royal, uh, for my rocket loons. And I think that's already pretty much it. Remember to comment down below, letting me know if I should keep going with one of my three attacks with rocket loons or if I should switch up my super troop um, for this account. But let's go. We have the queen in. We need to make sure that we're funneling the um, archer tower. But there is actually a Tesla farm, which is making things now really interesting because this is the space where I wanted to actually use my blimp. But the blimp is making it through, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, it's not looking too bad, actually, because we can wall break now. Get my queen inside. The second wall break is actually getting the correct wall open. And with that, the queen should actually get into the compartment and hopefully can reach over the wall or, like, walk around the wall and actually go for the Builder Huts because that's where we would like to go. We want to wall break into the Builder Huts. That's exactly where the wall break is going. And with this, though, the Eagle is activated, which means for us, let's get started with the Barbarian King. We want to split the damage. We want to make sure that the Eagle has to decide. Is it going for our, king, uh, our Queen or our King? Where is it going? And this means at the top side, it's looking good. Every hero is down there. Meanwhile, though, we have to clean things up. Make sure those Rocket Dunes are taking down the Wizard Tower. And already clean up minions down there as well. King versus King at the top side. Queen is keep pushing forward into that. Not tower compartment, but close to the tower compartment. Right in between of the multi Inferno Tower and the Town Hall. Which is an awesome place to be for that Queen. Because take a look at that. She can reach so many things. It's awesome. And now, Queen is on the Town Hall. Warden ability to protect um, the... The king, it was a second too late. This caused all of those barbarians to die, which was unfortunate. But it should be alright, I hope so. Nine rocket loons at this point alive. Can we somehow snipe a few more things? Rocket loons from the top side to go for the sweeper and go for the single inferno tower to make sure they're going down. And they are. So, queen now, where is she going? Is she going inside or is she going around the outside? It would be great if she's looping around inside and that's exactly what she's doing. So with her queen ability, I think it's looking good because we have seven rocket moons left. And as we said from the beginning, only this nine o'clock side is left standing. Everything else is gone. And because the Tesla farm was on the right side, this means there's no back end Tesla farm. And this means it's okay to only have seven rocket loons left. We can freeze the back end. We can put whatever in on the back end. And this means we're going to gain another three star. So you can see. If I want to 3 star, I should stick with Queen Shortages, but to be honest, we're going to try some more stuff over this Clan War League. I, to be honest, I, I had a lot of fun doing the Suri Lalo. Really, let me know what you would like to see next, strategy-wise. And I will try if I can somehow make it work. That was the third attack, but to be honest, I don't know if that's going to be... Like, if it's going to be worth it too much, because if you take a look at the match, you can see already... We have another opponent which is really, really, um, yeah, hitting hard. Five out of seven. That's not too bad. I don't know how we will do in this group. It's not going to be easy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode where we're going to find out if we can keep this lead or if we have to move back to Champion 2.